Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of the lamp tutorial. Today we're gonna be doing the lighting, the shading and the rendering for our lamp. So be sure to stay with me, my name is Abanob and this is gfxtoday.com So now we've modeled our lamp model and we need to adjust our rendering options so press F10 go to our assign render and choose V-Ray now go to renderer and we will adjust all these settings here now first enable our buffer frame and global switches uncheck default lights now go to this one check Adaptive QMC and Culture Room. Now here, leave it as it is, and make the indirect illumination on. Check light cache. Then go to this. Uh, make it like medium is okay, and check our show calculate phase. In our light cache, okay, maybe we will edit this value, make it 0 0.008, and show calculation phase again. Again, now quotients on environment. We'll see it later. And system uncheck showing. Now our render setup is now done. Now hit M to press bring up our material editor, press get material and go down and choose V-Ray HDRI. Now close this one, press browse, choose our HDR, press open and spherical environment make it 0.2 that will make it very dark and now press F9 go to our render again choose environment and on on and intense to all of them now we have the lighting and the rendering options are set up go to perspective view Shows all of them. Maybe we group them. Call them the lamp. Press OK and try to rotate it. Uncheck the snap angle tool. Don't worry about this part here because we'll rotate it again. Now it's on the ground. Go to again to perspective view and first make sure this is local and rotate this lamp here and now it's on the ground. Now go to create and choose V-Ray and V-Ray plan, put a V-Ray plan here, maybe put it 0, 0 and press M to bring up our material editor and let's work on our shaders here. Now choose empty material, get material and choose V-Ray material here. map choose this map here press open and this is how it looks like C ceramic for our ground now we need to select a pump map so go to maps pump press pump and again press bitmap 
now select our bump map for it and it's basically, basically black and white and go up and make it 60 ok now open it make the tiling 5 by 5 and we'll do the same thing for our pump material then apply it to our ground here so now our ground is finished now let's move to the outer glass material here close this one ungroup choose it the same again and choose another empty material get material and V-ray material close this one for the, for the reflect choose fall off here and we can leave this curve as it is and you can press here to put a background and see our reflection here how it looks like now go up and in the reflection glossiness make it 0.97 it's okay for the subdivisions make it 20 and for the refract here make the subdivi subdivisions maybe 15 and the refract make it white and hit ok and maybe we need to adjust this value here make it 0.9 to make a nice reflection here change this to warp and now our glass is done apply it here to our glass and it's transparent now now move to another material but first we need to apply this one to these parts here apply this to both parts here and now we're done from the glass now move to another material this one will be the chrome that will be used here and here so another one get material V-ray material and make the fuse white and the reflect 100 100 100 for RGB ok now subdivisions 20 0.97 and for the reflection now this make it warp and choose background see and now we have our chrome material apply it here and we need to apply it to these things here so maybe you can select all of them and uncheck things that we don't need okay now we have selected them all apply all material to them and we're done now we need to make the material for this wire here that produce the light so here we need a, a self lighting material so choose bit material and choose V-Ray MTL wrapper on base material select standard and choose a nice color for it something yellowish maybe like this hit ok 
and self illumination make it 100 go up select this one here and apply our material to it So now everything is done here we need to render this out right click show save frame try to adjust it maybe like this and hit F9 to render so now after image after our image has been rendered we will notice that this ground here is too small so we need to adjust this press m and maybe 5 was too much make it maybe 105 and 105 maybe just one and same thing for the material itself make it one by one hit render again and we'll see how it looks like so this is how it looks like you can decrease this number again to get uh, bigger squares here or you can leave it as it is it's up to you I leave it right now and save this image JPEG and call it lamp save and ok so now we need to go to our photoshop to edit and color correct this image here so open photoshop go to file open open our image and there we go now press ctrl l and it something like this that looks okay now go to image adjustment color balance and give it some rich color to shadows and try to play with this till you get something that looks okay and now we need to give it some depth of field so choose this blur tool here make it bigger and maybe the strength 80 and try to play with this here I guess now we're done maybe you can crop it if you want be like this if you want it white maybe like so so this is all for now thank you for watching and if you like this tutorial you can find more on gfxtoday.com we have some cool tutorials here on our website we have this pen tutorial and 
this tutorial here as well how to put our pen in a real photographic image check it out I want to thank all of you who put all these nice comments here Shiko, uh, Vision and Jonathan thank you all and be sure to come again to find more interesting tutorial thank you and thank you